Hello, I'm Father Sam Cross and I'm the Vicar of St Thomas, Kensal Town. When I was younger, I'd have been a latchkey kid and I'd have just gone home and opened up the house and, and gone in and, and waited for my parents to come home. But there's a reticence for some of the parents to allow their children to do that for fear of people calling social services or um, if they're older children, bringing around everyone from their class and having a party in the house. So very often they just send them off to one of the local fast food restaurants with a few pounds and they hang out there. And then the local gangs, and we're on a gang border, there's two local gangs that are quite prevalent around these parts, will watch who's coming there on a regular basis and they'll make contact with them and ask them to do a favour and then before you know it you're running drugs for a gang that you didn't even know existed. We wanted to try and provide a space where, where youngsters could come and we take everyone from, from the primary schools around the area, um, primarily St Thomas's primary school but we also have um, Art Brunel and there's, a, there's some children that come from there as well and even though they're young uh, it's to provide a space for them to have a sense of community, to be together, to join in with activities, to give them a, a different way of being so that as they get older they don't get easily groomed into that way of life and they already have somewhere where they feel is theirs and somewhere they can go and people that they know that they can trust, that they can talk to um, and some adults that can give them some guidance and some mentoring and some, some way of life that is different to, to what is offered uh, on the streets. So I think the, the, biggest, the biggest impact is it's just that they know that there is always someone there for them and I think one of the problems is, is broken homes in this area. There's, there's lots of families who who have had turbulent times uh, in relationships, I think especially post lockdown. I think that was a make or break time for a lot of relationships and a lot of couples. And, and there are lots of children here who don't have both parents around. And in this, this end of the church, in this, this way of uh, expressing the Christian faith, I am called father, and I take that really seriously. Uh, you know, I am there to be a father spiritually to people. Uh, and for those children as well, if, if I can, be there and offer some stability and some support um, and some presence. I think that is that's part of my job. That's part of my my calling, my duty. I think that's why I'm here.